Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today we are doing like a little bit of a vlog kind of a thing. We are out shopping. She's punching in her phone the address to the Lighthouse Antique Mall. Well, we just got out of a, well, first, let's, I, I gotta catch you up. So we went to an auction that Barb had bought things from online, and so I'll cut in some footage right here. Well, Barb is going to pick up her auction winnings. They had this online auction and she'd won quite a few lots, but we are like an hour away and she got a couple really fun things I hope to show you, but she is gonna go in and get her items. Okay, turns out they were already, I think right out there on the ground and the, on the porch, the stuff that she got. She got stuffed animals and tins and figurines and all sorts of things. Ah, how exciting. And now we just pulled up to this yard sale and I actually found some really fun things. So I'll have that in my haul video from the stuff that I pick up at the uh, antique mall. <laughs> so yeah, I will meet you at the antique mall. I just spotted this, it's so cute. It's a little three, three slotted vase and it has the pink roses on it. No chips or cracks on the leaves or anything. Very interesting shape. Love it. It's a made in Japan type of piece. Has the kind of the gold accenting on it. And it was only $3.50. So I gotta do it. I gotta do it, Barb. Got to. Gotta <laughs> do it. I'm smiling. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're smiling. Found a great deal over here. 50% off Red X items. We've got all these salt and peppers. But this pair here is calling my name. They have a luster, a luster finish with the gold accenting on top. And with the, with the special, they'd be a dollar. A dollar. I don't know if I feel about any of these others. Hawaii 50th. Don't want the irons, I don't think. Little redware jugs. The paint's worn off. I don't think I'll get the tomatoes. This side looks a little wonky. Yeah, the glaze has come off or something. These are missing. They're cradle. This would have like a, a metal thing that those would set in to look like oil lamps. Don't think I see anything else in this booth. Something man. Barb Iron found a, man maybe? She found a man. She found a man. <laughs> by the author of Little Caesar. It Little Caesars. $3. <laughs> um, 1930. Very neat. Yeah. Cool. It's kind of in bad shape, unfortunately. Here's one of my favorite booths. They have lots of fun little things. And I'm a fan of fun little things. Let's see if we can find any. Let's see. That's pretty. Early Nippon. Hmm. Oh, it's been chipped and glued back together. Well, darn. Well, darn. Salt and peppers. Salt and peppers. Oh, now this is darling. It's a thermometer, a redware thermometer. That's a pretty good price too, $6. Let's see if there's anything wrong with it. I gotta get it. I gotta get it. Did you say a redware thermometer? Look, look Barb. Oh, oh yeah. Isn't that mm -hmm. fun? Oh, look at little Dumbo here. I don't know if it's really Dumbo or not. Oh, it's Norcrest. How cute. Oh my goodness. For $4? I gotta. No chips or cracks. Okay, that's an easy win. This one on oh, 20% off. Oh, it's always 10 and over. Yeah. Look at this Lefton cherries. Wow. That's really cool. It's Lefton? Yeah, it's missing its spoon though, and it is $8. I've never seen that one before. Um, I'll get it if you're not going to get no, it. No, I'm not going to get it. Oh, okay. I Do you want to just set them right here? You. Did you see my little pink elephant? Oh, that's cute. It is so cute. <laughs> Let's 
So I got that and my little cap. They're getting a lot of business from me today. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Oh, look at that. It's like sugared. How cute. Four dollars. Little trinket. The paint's a little worn on the bottom blue. I've never seen anything like this, Barb. The way that they have the, the oh. glass on the outside like oh, that. Oh, that's little tiny like crushed pieces of glass? or Yeah. Hmm. Okay, I could probably get over that little blue. Is that a chip though? No, not really. It's not. And the flower's in great shape. I think I'm going to get it. It's oh, just yeah. so different. I've never seen that before. It's like just a Japan piece, but it's so cute. It is. Oh, you're thinking about that again? Oh, I always look at it, don't I? And I never remember to look it up and see what it even sells for. Pigeon they sell for pottery pretty, raccoon. They sell for pretty much that. I would think. So cute. So cute. Yes. Ah. Dog in a shoe for two dollars. What? Two dollars? Barb, this price is ridiculous. That's a no-brainer. Oh, yeah. That's a no-brainer. Little plates. Little made in Japan. Japan teapot. So these little guys. 1950 Snow Bear. For six twenty-five, oh, it's a little much for me. And they have that sugared kind of. Well, it's not sugared, but it's like this texture. Oh, oh the deer for a dollar. What? What? Okay, well, gotta get that. I like these, but they are nine dollars. Yeah, I did see them. What's those seagulls in the back? Key West. Oh. I'm gonna get those. Those are cool, aren't they? Mm hmm. Those are cool. Yep. I mean, I don't know if they, I could probably sell them for like 12 to 15 because of the size and the, sh the shape of them. So it's not a huge money maker, but they're, they're just fun. I can't resist. Wouldn't this be fun, except I don't have anything to hang it with? Oh, that's true. Hmm. I don't know, Barb. Only fifteen dollars. Only. <laughs> hmm. Well, it is pretty cool, so you'll have to think about it. Oh, these little trinket boxes are so cute, like a little wedding trinket. This surely isn't bleak. No, it's not. So this little dog, it's only $2, white dog, blue collar, brown tail, made in Japan. So it has some age on it. I'll get it. I'll get it. I like the cactus. Cacti. The cacti. How much was the little one? Oh, seven fifty as well. That's a pretty bowl. That's pretty too. Probably made it's probably made in China. Yeah, I would bet you. I would bet you. Those are neat, Barb. You should get them. They're like little um, cookie plates. Yeah, Harmony House. I don't. I don't think I'm gonna. I actually saw some restaurantware Christmas plates on eBay. I was thinking about. There's not very many, so yes. they're a little pricier, but I might. So, Barb, you think this is what? I think it's a, like, Anthony Freeman or Freeman McFarlane owl. But oh. I'm not sure if there's any, like, you know, imposters of those out there, as I always call them. Hmm. I don't know. Because I, I have another gold one. And it does have some of this, like, reddish showing through, like this one. Interesting. I, I don't, don't know. know how to know for sure when it's not marked, but I think they had stickers. Oh. So that could be why. Okay. But I like it. Oh, my gosh. Look at that thing. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. That looks like Hudson right there. Does it not? I'm going to get that for $3. $3. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Funny little thing. That's a cool yo-yo. 
Duncan Super Yo-Yo. That's a beautiful color. I like yo-yos. Do you think many people collect them? I don't know how many really do, but I think they're cool. Yeah. I sold one not too long ago. Not too long ago. Oh, don't knock these over. There's a, um thing An embroidered thing with ABCD all that crap on it yeah I don't think that one's gonna be for me some triangle plates oh. oh what oh I guess these are like newer buffalo china like the Oneida wait are these more for those Friedman people that's probably another one it could be when they're bright gold like that this is four dollars and this other bird is four dollars let's compare them I don't know his stuff I mean, they're very similar, so mm -hmm. I would say it could be. You could try to look it up if you really want. This is UHL pottery. Oh yeah, I have a big blue thing of that. That you know that like cracked. It's like cracked, but it's a blue pitcher with grapes on it. That's that yeah. brand. Oh okay. I just spotted this little strawberry jam jar. How cute! It has the spoon. Although, wait a minute. That's a plastic spoon. It would have had a ceramic one originally, but it's three dollars. For three dollars made in Japan. I think I have to get it, Barb, don't I? Yes, you do. Okay. I'll get it. And this here. Barb is considering this. It's a, what is it now? It is a watercolor for ten dollars. I love the frame. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I suppose we will. This booth is 50% off. Barb, that's a great piece of carnival. I never know how is it Northwood which or? ones are more valuable. See, on a, mm, when not it's marked. not marked, then I get not as excited about it. You Let know? me hold it. Well, I just thought I could tell. Well, yeah. it could be Dugan or it could be Northwood. Yeah. Hmm. It's pretty, then you have a bonbon dish here. That This one's Northwood, but this I gotta get an owl plate it would be two dollars and fifty cents it's my gobel so i'm gonna get it and then i noticed just a minute right here oh yeah penguin it's a penguin ice bucket for it'd be five dollars today oh, awesome. i know these do so well for me it has the bakelite handles so that's an oberainer What else can we find? This is crystal. Oh no, it's not, it's plastic. Just kidding. <laughs> What's that in the little frame? Are those, what is that black? It'd be seven fifty today on half off day. Is it smoke coming out of it? No, those are trees. I don't alone, know. alone life's way. Alone, 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 alone. alone. Oh, along, along, along life's, life's way. way. Hmm. Cute. It's cute for seven fifty. I mean, it's. I can't bring myself to do it though, unless you want to get it, Barb. How about this fairy lamp for two fifty? No, I don't like it. I mean, that was pretty dramatic of me, but I, I just don't. It's, it has like the transferred on. Oh, this is darling. Oh, little flower, frog. I mean, a little um. What do you call that? Pin cushion. It would be three dollars. Yeah. I think I might get this for five dollars. Should, should I do this part for three dollars? Yeah, that's cute. I think so too. I think I might get this for five. That's that Mary Gregory. Yeah, Mary Gregory. Good I don't have Mary. any of that. I, I don't a, know much about it, but I had a picture set once. I'm trying to decide if I really want this. It would still be six dollars, and it's like Omaha, Nebraska, like a Masonic thing. Now some of those could be desirable, but. Like, if I just kept it for myself, do I really want that? <laughs> I don't know, Barb. I don't know. But I'm looking at other things right now. So here's a pyro, pyrograph, pyrography. Yeah. It'd be $5 today. I'll get it. $5. And this little swing frame would be 6 Should I do it? That's really cute. 
it's a cute size. You could put a postcard in there. You don't want the cat? Mm. You're a dice. Is there a chip on the ear? If there's not, I will. I don't feel it. Okay. I will. I will, because cats are popular. I'm allergic to them, but they're popular. <laughs> I almost missed this box here. It was sitting back there, but it has cherries on it. It's only $5 today. What a deal. I just spotted this little granite ware. They're called an ashtray, but it's really pretty. So that's metal, enamel ware. A little bit of spots, but for $2.50 today, I have to. I can't, because pink is a really pretty color. We don't, it's very pretty. We don't really see that. I'll put it in my box. Like that. That's a cute little chair. I know, I saw that when we came in here. It would be $12.50 today. Very cute. Okay, I thought about it and I decided to go ahead and get this because the, the frame alone is freaking awesome. I love that you can set it up and it kind of angles like that. It would be $7.50 today. And it has very cool graphics on it. And I actually might even not even sell it. Yeah, I really like it. It's one of those things where I I don't see it. And the fact that I don't see it makes me consider not selling it. Right. So if you really enjoy it, just set back. I might sell it, but <laughs> I might not. Just keep that in mind. But look at my filled up thingy. Beautiful. And Barbara, are you going to get your restaurant wear? I guess. Rattling all over the place, little George Washington. Oh, Georgie. <laughs> I want to look in there because I see painting. I know, we love that booth. <laughs> okay, this this is another one of our favorites, but usually the prices aren't like extremely cheap, but they are running 20% off, so that definitely helps. So that may, oh, little cricket, that may help us. Oh, look at those anthropomorphic. Oh, those are neat. They're shakers. They are made by Yukago. And because of that, they want $20, Barb. <laughs> Yay! No. We'll just let you set. Oh, look, here's a couple more pyrography boxes. $20, see there? They know where it's at. Mm -hmm. That's pretty. Right, I like that one a lot. 36. 40 1936. Bucks. It's not framed. That, that bothers me when they're not framed because I just feel like I'm never going to find a frame. But Well, you don't have to frame them. I know. That's a cool, because then you can get to see the old nails. That is true. So it's 20% off. And I like, I kind of like those, but mm -hmm. I like this one better than that I one. I do too. Let's see what it says. But they look like a pair. It's 19. Let's see what it looks like on the back. Oh God, before I drop it. Hmm. Well. So it's a, it's a hard board. I'm is not. It, it's not dated. No, is it? What does it say? Mm, it's just scribbles. It could be from the 60s, but yeah, that's as far back as I would go with it. You think? Yeah. I think we're going to leave it because we found the other one and I like that one. Mm hmm And it would be nice if somebody bought the pair of these. Fifteen dollars. Okay, we gotta get out of this booth, Barb. <laughs> There's a black flower frog. Black glass. Ten dollars. Ah. Twenty. Oh. Okay, we're going out of this booth. Bye. Okay, so here we have some little shoes. Fenton shoes. I'm gonna be selective because they are six dollars. But they still sell for good money. I gotta get the Amberina one because that's really pretty. And then I'm gonna get the blue with the hobnail and there's the panther or the cat on it. So stunning. So I got those two. And I don't think I'm gonna get a green one. Unless Barb thinks I should get a green one. A green one belt? A green oh, shoot. boot. Shoot. Oh. Boot shoot. <laughs> Shoe. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. I'm just gonna get the cobalt and the amberina. Yeah. I just found this little Wisconsin souvenir mug. It would be only $2.50, which is an outstanding price because they're doing 50% off in this booth. And it's a flashed on 
flashed on piece. Nielsville, Wisconsin. So it's early, early 1900s souvenir piece. So I have to get it. Unless I want any of these flower frogs. Eight dollars. There's some clothes in here. You'll have to check out too, maybe. Um, okay. I haven't got there yet. Is this the booth that... Oh, look, there's those yes, railroad things. Yes, it is. But there's other signs. It's confusing. Like, there's a 40% off Christmas. Like, oh, that's confusing. I'm not really so maybe sure. they just didn't take all their signs down. See, look, it's up there. But, yeah, that's got to be the right sign, doesn't it? 30% off firm. Everything else, 50% off. And there's no date on it, so that's what it is. Right. Here's salt sellers. All of those... Oh, I should get those, Barb, shouldn't I? $5 for all those colored salts? Yeah, I think so. Oh, and she has um, green uranium in here, too. I need to get the person with the key, I think. Yeah. Make sure there's nothing else I want in here. There's a Millie Fiore paperweight. And they would like... Oh, God. $70. Oh. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Wowee. I wonder if they're leaving. Must be. Well, or they just I mean, want to move some stuff out. What about those birds? Those are big. Wow. That would they're be wall pockets for the pair? I don't think so. Oh, okay. So it's seven fifty each. No, yeah. I don't think I want them. Really? I don't think so. I mean, they're made in Japan and they're neat, but... I think I'm going to have to pass on them. Some old funeral fans. Royal Copley Duck for $3. Oh wow, that's a deal. I'll take it if you didn't want it. That's a steal deal. There's those mugs. Get Aaron the Bonanza mug. <laughs> oh, I think he's laying off of the mugs right now. Yeah. Now this this right here would would have been part of a planter, um, would, would have been part of a TV light set. You'd have one on this side, one on the other side, and then your light in the center. So it's just part of one, and they would still like ten dollars. Here's a little bud vase, sixteen. Now where'd my basket? Oh, my basket's over here, and then I want to get into this case. They're coming over with the key because I see some milk glass items that I gotta have. For 50% off, covered trinket dishes for $4 they would be. Those are steals. We are just trucking along, but I wanted to show this. I thought it was really pretty the way they have it set up. This is a really nice looking barn area. And this is a nice quilt too. Let's see. That's a very springy quilt. Oh, that one? Yes. It's 50. Oh, you were looking at the other. I was looking at both. That one's 55. Oh, that's not bad. No, it's not. Depends Should we on the take a closer look. It looks like a big one. You're right. Do they say anything? Do they have a special? They don't, of course, but mm. um So let's see where's the back of it. I mean there is there's what are you looking for? I'm just looking at oh. it. Oh. Curious how um ornate it is. Well, we can, you'll have to help me fold it back up, but. Okay. All right, let's see here. What is going wow, on? Wow, it looks well, like plain. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, wow. It seems a good size. I don't like the bow. Yeah, I didn't know there was a bow. I think it's just growing up in the 80s, 90s. I'm not, I don't like, I don't like, I don't like seeing bows. Oh, Bo, why'd you have to ruin it? I'm barely getting over geese. Let yeah. alone bows with geese, or geese with bows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I just, I'm, there's not enough fun color on this. Yeah, if it's got a lot, it does have a lot of white. We're not doing well. Yes, we are. We're doing okay. great, Barb. <laughs> We're doing fantastic. They must have knew I was coming. <laughs> They've got these ivy canisters here, 20% off of $10 for those. Oh. Thing is, I don't need canisters. And there, here we have the Poppy Trail by Metlocks. Balik. Oh, a Balik plate. Do you have a plate like that? I don't have a plate. 
So this would have been from 1960 to 1981, I believe, based on that back stamp. Here's some Majolica, dusty Majolica. It's cute that they put it all together like that. Yeah. I can appreciate looking at it, but I don't want all this. Yeah. Yeah, well, how much is that? Five dollars? What? Why is it only five dollars? I don't know. Well, I'm gonna buy it if you're not gonna buy it. That's cream and green. Mm -hmm. It's 1930s. An orange paperweight for five dollars? That's cool. So it would be 20%, it'd be 10% off. What do you think, Barb? A solid orange. Spoon. Doesn't that sound like a fun book to read? The Hidden Staircase. Oh, I love Hidden Staircases. It doesn't have a whole lot of a cool picture, but, oh, that's kind of neat. Do you know whenever I was about eight, eight or nine years old, I wrote a book called The Spooky Bathroom. Really? Yes. I want to read it. If I can find it, I'll, I'll, I'll get it to you. It was about a hidden bathroom. Well, which bathroom inspired it? I didn't have one. It was a very original oh, work. Okay. But it was a hidden bathroom behind a trap wall. That's kind of cool. <laughs> yes, but... Very original that you thought of, like, the bathroom to be the spooky room. And you know what they found on the toilet? What? A butt. <laughs> <laughs> so, obviously, I can't pass up a dollar. I mean, my goodness, Canada, salt and pepper shakers. I never see them to begin with, but squirrels at that? So it's brownware, or it's actually just ceramic, but... Who are these people? Squirrels? No. Oh. The, the maker says, an enterprise exclusive, Toronto, Canada. So Barb and I were just looking at the Longa Burgers because, you know, I'm currently into them. I mean, not like, like crazy. I'm semi into semi them. Semi into them. <laughs> like, I can appreciate them now without gagging. So, <laughs> and I have two of them at home that I bought for like, what, $3 each or something. Yeah. And so these are, you know, retail. They're $22. It makes it hard to pay that when you see them sometimes. Oh yeah, for, for sure. So we were just deciding which ones we would each buy if we had to buy one today or we could have one. And Barb chose this one, a little sailor moment. And I chose this one because 4th of July. I just thought it was kind of cute, red, white, and blue. So yeah, they have some neat ones and they're 20% off, but. There's that beautiful stuff down there. I, don't know, I know. Shown that before. It's so lovely. It says Lundberg Studios. Looks a lot like Tiffany or Dugan or What's that other company? I did, I, did I mean Dugan? I actually meant something else. I meant, who did I mean, Barb? Ugh. I can't think Steuben. of it. Steuben. Steuben, yeah. Yeah. Steuben. Steuben, Dugan. And then there's something else that's Steubenville, right? That's yeah, that's pottery, pottery, isn't it? Pottery, yeah. So they've got like little Amberina thingies, $10. That's, that's, hmm, I need to raise my prices. <laughs> $10, I'm selling them for six. Silly me. I always love that pink pocket too over there. At least I think it's always been here. Where? Straight that way. Where? In the middle of the plate. Oh, how pretty. It looks like a California pottery almost. I know, doesn't it? And they got the iris by, uh, by Jeanette, isn't it? Or is it? Who made this? Oh yeah, Jeanette. Jeanette Marigold Iris and Herringbone. Mm -hmm. Oh, remember these, Barb? Remember these? Oh, yes. I love the blue one. They call that bulging teardrop? Or did I get that wrong? Um, no, that one is like a something with the word cone. That blue Pine one. cone? It could be. Just so Okay, so there's not an example of bulging teardrop. Isn't isn't that a thing? Bulging that is, teardrop. Yeah. Okay. And I don't see one. No. Um, virtue. I like that little. Oh, I, that's cute. Can we yeah. see that together, everyone? It says virtue, and it's an early American press glass mug for a child. Very cool. Oh, look. That looks like look, very similar to um, Cosmos oh, by. Yeah. By consolidated glass but this is made by consolidated glass either way and it's um, from 1902 they're calling it coreopsis coreopsis picture oh barb look you can get like they don't oh, they've got some without the lids wait a minute this is bulging teardrop isn't it uh-huh 
I got it right. Yep. Bulging teardrop. Some have the lids and some don't. What's this one called? I don't know. I'd call it diamond flower. Oh no, they're right. calling it quilted something. Look at those ones are painted. That's pretty. Huh. That doesn't seem right, does it now? I kind of don't prefer that at all. I don't know. I'd rather them be white. That's just me. All right, so we just finished up at the antique mall. I spent about just shy of $160, and Barb spent 70 something. Pretty good. She got some fun things, and so did I. Lots of stuff. Well, actually, I think everything is for resale uh, today. Well, not Barb, but for me. <laughs> that would be a good day for me. <laughs> yeah. So I think we had a really successful time here at the uh, Light. Lighthouse Antique Mall in. Uh, it's uh, like. Uh, Litchfield or it's near Raymond, Litchfield. Near, yeah, it's near either Litchfield or Raymond. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye bye. <laughs>